So the second, uh, the second session that I that I've uh, sat in, uh, and and I think this this speaker has just so inspired, uh, you know, and it, she makes me reflect on my own journey at the same time. Uh, and uh, the, the, the title that, uh, that, that she was uh, talking about was on inclusion as a driver of authentic sustainability at work. I think the work that she has done was so wonderful. I, I actually took a look at some of the work that she has done. Uh, Dr. Kamel, for example, uh, she, she, she's such an inspiring lady with so many achievements to her name. Um, so some of the things that was drawn uh, that that drawn me to her more about her work. Let me see what uh, there's so many things that I've jotted here. Uh, of her definition, the way that she explains or her definition of the inclusivity and diversity because it resonates with my values at so many levels. You know the way she described mm -hmm. the definition was mindful enough and you feel that you are in the circle of or, or no uh, in, in the fabrics of the definition that she explained and she herself is so elegant she was such a pleasing visual image to look at you know very calm and all that and um so based from her from based from her her story what really stood out was the story about her parents I didn't. I didn't realize that uh, she wasn't born in in UK, mm. uh, and you know she 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 was telling about the story of her parents, about her father. Her father was a, a, an engineer, uh, and uh, and the father was uh, was the one who built the biggest dam in India, and um, so so I thought to myself, I, I need to check this guy out, you know, um, uh, do a research about that. And I thought mm -hmm. that was so inspiring, but it ended up that, you know, um, uh, the, the family got called uh, for, for uh, you know, uh, build Great Britain, right? So the whole mm -hmm. family went went there, but the family landed in, in UK at a time when she said diversity was unheard of. And at that point of time, when she said that, it just reminded me of, you know, Malaysia or Malaya way back when, when a lot of people came here to travel, you know, to to uh, to look for work, to look for opportunity, and you know, making sure that there's sustainability in the family, you know, they want to make sure that children have better opportunities and all that. And uh, she was also telling how. The family was treated and you know how she rise up through the ranks and what i think uh was really telling is is the way that you know her, her grit and her tenacity was so was so inspiring mm -hmm. so there are a couple of things that i thought just so resonated with me uh and this i heard from her she said that you know for those who are just starting with their career which are you know the fresh grads or the young talents which i so resonate with and and that we've worked a lot with over mm -hmm. the years uh so she said be honest with yourself and as you plan your journey along with you know the partner that you have make sure that you also have planned for you you know, because she was saying when when she first met her husband, it was the day that she first time met her husband on their wedding day. You know, so all throughout the years, she was planning together with the husband, five years plan and all that. But uh, uh, below the line of the five year plan, she also uh, consciously designed her own plan for herself. Mm -hmm. and, and And I thought that's just like... You know, a, a lot of people think that when you're married or you're together with a spouse or a partner, it, it's kind of joy. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> but we also have to consciously make it clear that we are also individuals and we should be respectful over the fact that we are also leading our own life exactly. together. Yeah. And I thought that was kind of mm -hmm. nice. Yeah. And the second thing, uh, she said, uh, so that's on the personal, uh, on the personal end, but mm -hmm. as leaders, um, authenticity is crucial and uh, to really understand uh, the people who who are working for you within the organization and really walk in your people's shoes try to understand what makes them wake up in the morning I suppose mm -hmm. you know what's their key motivation and all that uh, so I, I thought her session was 
was really nailing it on diversity, on the challenges of really trying to translate the, the real meaning of diversity and inclusion, you know, even in the community as a personal and even in, in, in companies as well. 